Good evening, everyone. I am your host, Nancy Baker, and I'm back with another Thursday Night Live, just like every other Thursday. I am joined by Jamie Lee Napier. She is going to be jumping on with us tonight. We're going to be chatting through some bits and bobs. So don't forget that you can send your questions in if you've got anything to ask her. Hopefully, Jamie is going to be jumping in very soon and sending a request. She's not sent one yet. You know we like to get them in nice and fast. Hopefully, she'll she jump in soon. Let me see if I can maybe send her a request. Make her life a bit easier. Ah, Jamie sent an invite. I think we sent an invite at the same time. Let's see if she gets in. What's Hello. going on? What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. How's your day been? It's actually been good, you know, just sun's out, so we're just at training. I feel like... Sun's out, guns out. No, genuine. Did you roll up your sleeves? No comment. <laughs> You're trying to get the turn, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what it is? I feel like I, I had muscle, but I don't really, so it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> who who on the team has, like, the best... If they've got to roll up their top and, and they're showing off, who, who's who got the best muscles? Obviously, it's not you, as you've just said. Well, if we're not saying me, if I can't vote myself... Not, okay. not that many people roll their top up, but um, Hayley Nolan, uh, yeah. our defender, the Irish... And a national shows are top up all the time, even if it's raining. <laughs> like all the time. Yeah, but like, wouldn't you be someone to do that? Isn't it like a Scottish thing where you just don't feel the cold, don't feel the rain, don't feel the cold, don't feel the snow? Well, to be fair, like, I feel the cold a bit, but I just like training in shorts and t shirt because I hate all them layers. I feel like I can't. Yeah. You know what no, I mean? 100%. Just for anyone who, who may not know who you are, can you give a quick little intro so your name the team you play for and we'll also go for the team you support and your position um so i see i can't even remember what you said right i've got it so i'm jamie lee napier and i currently play for london city lionesses in the championship and um, previously played for hibs in scotland before i made the move to chelsea and um, where i signed my first professional contract Went out on loan to Birmingham and then, yeah, I've ended up at London City and enjoying every minute of it so far. And my, I support, not many people probably will know it's a Scottish team, but I support Rangers. I feel like people know who Rangers are, Jamie. Everyone always wants me to support an English team and I'm like, nah, like I just want to support a Scottish team. You know it's, <laughs> it's one of those ones. I feel like you can't support an English team being Scottish like because there's all... The first question you get asked is, are you Rangers or Celtic, no? When they hear your accent, surely. Yeah, Rangers or Celtic. And sometimes, like, people don't even ask. They just be like, oh, you're a Celtic fan? And I'll be like, no. no. -uh. Personally, I really like the Rangers kit that they've got this year. So, in terms of kit, Rangers, I'm, I'm supporting them for my Scottish team because they've got a nice purple kit. Do you know what? I rate that. I like even better now, Nance. <laughs> You like me anyway, so so it's it's I, always gonna be. If you're if you're supporting Rangers, like I'm, obviously it just makes you from there to there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hopefully next year they maintain a nice kit. Otherwise, I might have to switch over to to Celtic. So the pressure's on. Don't even make that. <laughs> I'll literally see you, and you'll be like, "Don't come near me." No, I won't even chat to you at the games now. <laughs> talking of um, talking of London City Lionesses, uh, you obviously made the move. You've been there a while now. Someone said in the, you know, when I sent in the, the question, someone said it's so nice to see you playing with a smile on your face, which for me is something that's so important. Tell me about the lifestyle at London City Lionesses and talk to me, like, how, how are you feeling being there? Do you know what? Uh, I fought long and hard over the summer about where I wanted to move to and yeah. what would be best for me. And do you know what? Coming into the championship and playing for London City, I think is the best decision I've made in a long time for my career. I've just kind of put my happiness first and yeah. just best for me. And speaking to like Mel and some of the staff and the girls there, I think we both share the same goals and ambitions and values. And I just thought the best place for me to be was here. And Mel wanted to develop me and just get my confidence back. You know, I think confidence for any player. But especially me being young, I just needed that back. And I feel like, I say it all the time, you play your best football when you're confident. And honestly, like I feel here, I've just developed more and more each game, each week. So I'm just looking to take that through and finishing off the season. Strong. 
yeah that's that's exactly what we love to hear and i know i've been down to a couple of games and like the girls are so lovely aren't they like everyone on the team like talk to me about the team like, i can talk from experience but how class are they like they're really they're a really good bunch aren't they no honestly like that's the one thing first thing i noticed when i came like everyone's just so sound so welcoming and like literally like we're all i know every team say it but like we're just such a big family like yeah like there's nothing like that like we're all just in it for together uh, in it for each other and one of our values that um we share is togetherness and we literally show that like off the pitch so much so that yeah. helps and yeah we've all got each other's back we all have a laugh as well which is nice but it's, it's, it's important to be doing that talking of off the pitch if you're going going out for I know you like your breakfasts I see I'm always telling you how good your breakfast and you're ripping me for going for brunch I feel like everyone does it no br it's brunch is a thing if you had to choose three teammates to take out to brunch who gets the call up oh nah I'm gonna have everyone text me now um <laughs> right do you know what I need to see Carly because she's my best pal and she's yeah. so she's got the banter so Carly yeah. first on my list then I would say also mother friend and me and her always go out for brunch. Yeah. The last one, um, I'll probably say Anna because she's my housemate and she'll probably kill me if I don't know her. So Anna. And it's one of those ones, you live with her. So if you're walking out the door and you're not going to football, she's like, where are you going? Why am I not, not coming with you? Exactly. Because <laughs> leave, we're like, where are you going? And it's for being each other's mums, but it's just because we can't probably go anywhere without each other. Literally. Who was the first person that you spoke to when you first moved on over to um, London City Lionesses? Like, who was the first other player that you, like, sort of made a friendship with that you didn't already know? Because it's kind of cheating if you already know someone because you've got the friendship there already. Yeah, I get you. Um, well, to be fair, before I actually signed, Mel got Harley Bennett, the yep. own me, and then oh, wow. after... That was nice just to like see it from a player point of view because yeah, all, yeah, yeah. all good talking to the coaches but you want to really get to know what it's like from a player's point of view. So me and Harley had like a proper like hour phone call and like oh wow so well like she's such, yeah. such a good girl and easy to get on with and me and, me and Harley are really close so we got close and I felt better coming into the environment knowing that I kind of had her there. Um, yeah. What was the first thing she said to you? You need to sign and you need to make sure you're getting the system goals. You know what? She actually said that. <laughs> just sign, just sign. And then um, first, I understand what you're saying at times. <laughs> All right, fair. That was going to be my next thing. How many of the girls struggle to understand what you're saying? Do you know what? See, when me and Carly speak together, yeah. no one can understand us. Same when I was at Chelsea. When me and Erin speak, everybody's just sitting there like, but it is better, like, I feel like I've adjusted the way I speak around some people. Like, I speak more slow. And are, you, are you talking slower now? Because you know I can understand the accent, so you don't need to slow it down. Exactly. Actually, you might need to slow it down for a couple people watching, though. So if you are, maintain. <laughs> no, I know. So, like, do you know what I mean? I feel like I need to, like, adjust and, like, yeah. that's fine. Because, like, when I first moved to London, I obviously, like, was just chatting normally. Like, I would back. Yeah. And everyone was just like, what are you even saying? And it's awkward because, like, if they can't understand what I'm saying, they don't then get my banter. So, like, yeah. it's awkward. I'm just sitting there like, why are you not laughing? Do you know what? <laughs> why are you not laughing at my jokes? I'm really funny and I'm sorry. No, I, like, laugh with me, please, because, like, it makes me really awkward when people don't laugh. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, a lot of people obviously asked about your time at Chelsea and when you was there, and a lot of them want to know if you still talk to the, to the girls that are at Chelsea. Obviously you spoke a lot about Erin being someone who you looked up to and she's also one of your good friends. So just for all the Chelsea fans out there, can you just let everyone know that you still chat to them, they're still good vibes and all of that good stuff? What would you say if I said, no, nah, I don't chat to them? Nah, but I know you do, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't set you up for that. <laughs> no, do you know what? Like, honestly, like, since I left Chelsea, even when I went out on loan, the girls were just nothing but supportive and yeah. they just backed me and they just told me to go and do my thing and... They all just want the best for me and they want me to be happy. And I still go down to King's Meadow and stuff and like cheer them on and everything. And they always come chat to me. And 
some of them even just message me like checking in and stuff so it's nice that I've still got that friendship with them and they're always kind of wanting to know how I'm getting on and yeah. supporting me like we might not talk and see each other all the time but it's one of them ones you know they're always there and I'm always there for them as well. Love that and talking of girls that you used to play with obviously you had a really good friendship with Emily Murphy who's who's out in the States and it made me think of when you said that you go down to Kings Meadow she she does the same and I can only imagine that the reception that you get when you're down there is just good vibes, right? Yeah, you know what, Emily's she's a great girl. She's she's crazy, but I feel like that's how we get on. And do you know what? Her and her family are really good. Um, yeah. I was young when I moved to London. Like I didn't really know anyone. I was loving myself. So like honestly, every Sunday they used to cook me like a full blown roast. Love and like that. like you need to come to my house more often because they never do this. <laughs> But nah, like, they're, she's such a good girl, and yeah, King's Medal, it's just, every time you go, like, the crowd, it's just a sellout, and everyone's just so nice and welcoming, and yeah. and people are kind of just chatting to you and asking how you're getting on and stuff, yeah. so getting to just see everyone again, it just, it feels good being there. Definitely, and I feel like, as well, talking of, like, good vibes and people being friendly, when you're at London City Lionesses, like, I feel like it's exactly the same. Like, I know when I go there, I genuinely feel, like, really welcome now. I'm not, I'm not, obviously, not part of the team. Like, I'm not a water girl or I'm not a player. Like, not yet, anyway, maybe one day. But, like, everyone's everyone's super, like, friendly there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, honestly, like, because we're, like, an independent club, like, we don't have the main side. So, like, we're kind of starting from scratch, really. It's yeah. just, an, so we don't have the biggest fan base, but I feel like it's growing each week and each game. and. Yeah. Honestly, we might not have the biggest fan base, but we can hear them when we're on the pitch. And it's just so nice to see everyone. And all the girls always make time to chat to everyone after yeah. the game. And it's just such a nice feeling, like, just chatting to everyone after the game and just them saying, like, how you've got on and how well you're doing. It's just nice to hear. And I think we just kind of need to give that back to our fans. Yeah. Just there Definitely. And kind of develop that little bond we've got so they always keep coming back, you know. Yeah, 100%. And that comes on to, you was talking about the fans there. So I've got a question that I would love to know the answer to. If you could have three people, anyone in the world, come and watch you play football, you can't say, like, your mum or your sister. <laughs> like, it has to be, like, you have to say something. Like, the most out there people, if you could choose anyone in the world to come and watch you and they'd come and watch you, who would you choose? Mate, you've put me on the spot here, right? Let me think. Anyone? I think I would pick, like, Messi, because I think he's unreal. Like, I've loved yeah. him since I was young. So I'd want him, but, like, I feel like he'd judge me. But, yeah, Messi, therefore. Um, would you give him your shirt after the game and be like, here, Messi, take my shirt, remember me? Mate, he, would just, he wouldn't even know what I'm saying, so probably not, no. Uh, I would ask him for a shot, but he probably won't give me one. So Messi, Defo, um I think I would have to go with Jodie Comer. Or, how was her nickname? Do you know her yeah. second name I talk about? Honestly, since like, I watched um, Killing Eve, like, I've been obsessed with her. I think she's such like a great... Such a good actress. She's unreal. Isn't she? She's actually... Like, all the accents she does. Did I'm... you know she scouts? Did yeah. you know that? Yeah, Amazing. Just, but Amazing. Gushing, like, I don't even know what accent she's doing, but I'm just like, wow, like, you're amazing. Teach me. Yeah. Like, I'd want her to come. And then... Yeah. That's a... Messi and Jody. they're they're good, decent picks. A good balance, like, Messi, legend, and, like, Jody, like, can just chat. Yeah. You know, get some banter. And then last one. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to say another footballer just because I think he's so attractive. David Beckham. So you'd have, yeah, you, you'd have David Beckham there. Yeah, David Beckham, definitely, because he's obviously, like, a legend. And yeah. I just think, wow. Just, like, I've brought David Beckham, you know? who? Well, who can say that? No one. Like, David Beckham's came for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I like that. I like that thinking. If people would be like, so who's come to watch you today? Just, like, Messi, Jody, David, like, just just, yeah. just casual people. Just first, yeah, just first. Yeah, first name basis. No, honestly, yeah. But, like, obviously there's so many other people that I would love to, like, come and watch, but I feel like they'd be three. I feel like Jodie's a bit, like, why would you pick Jodie? But I feel like you get it. 
No, I, I get that. I, I rate that. I think that's a great answer. Yeah, because I feel like she's just so sound. Yeah, I just feel like you'd, be, you'd just be able to talk to her because maybe you wouldn't be able to talk to Messi or you wouldn't have much to talk about outside of football, whereas Jodie, you could just talk about anything, I feel like. Atlin, I feel like her accents are sick. Like, I'd love to be able to do accents. You can do a Scottish accent, though. That's because I am Scottish now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still do it well. Some people... To be fair, I'm glad I've kept my Scottish accent. Like, I know you can, like, live somewhere for, like, ages and it changes, do you know what I mean? But yeah. I feel like, to be fair, I remember I'd go in Scotland camps and it was only, like, 40 minutes out of Glasgow, but I'd come home speaking with, like, a twang. Um, ah. And all my friends at school would be like, nah, you need to stop with that now. So I'm glad I've not, like, picked up, like, an accent. I've kind of picked up in, like, London lingo. Oh, I sound cringe, but... <laughs> like, my friends back home, like, if I say, like, bear or in it, like, they just slag me and they're like, nah, you're the ick, like, stop that, like, where are you coming from? They're like, oh, it's not from London, so stop trying to... Stop, stop trying to act like you're from London. I feel like wherever you go, though, you do pick up bits and bobs. So, within the team, you've obviously got uh, girls from all over. Do you, like, compare different different sayings or what different things mean in, within, like, say, I don't know, like a bib? Or like boots or something. Do you like play off different words and what they mean? Well, like a couple Americans are like people who have played football in America. So yeah. They have all that like American chat and like obviously Mel's American. Yeah. It's got some Irish, but I feel like when me and Carly speak like some Scottish words, everyone's like, what is that? So for example, I was like, has anyone got a spare bobble? Spare like, bobble? A bobble, yeah. yeah. And like everyone was like, like some people were like, what is that? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, it's just a bobble. And everyone always gets me to say, me and Carly to say, burger. No, do you know what I mean? Like, how would you say it? A burger? burger. Yeah, like a chicken burger. Like, everyone just, I feel like everyone's just like. I get why they get you to say it. I find that what? really entertaining. I find that really entertaining. See, if people are even saying, like, what's a bobble? A, like, a hair tie, hair bobble. I Right, Molly Rice on this live. Can we like remove her, please? Because she's too <laughs> sick. <laughs> what other? When you first come over and like you moved to London City Linus, did the girls get you to say different stuff? So obviously you say like they get you to say burger, but is there anything else they get you to say that they just laugh at? Probably. I like to say they get us to say burglary. Like I've just been burgled. Burglary alarm. Like bur <laughs> No, do you know what? I'm not even saying it because I can't. Hello there, she's there. No, we can't even say it, like, burglarly. I've just been... <laughs> no, do you know, but that's what I say. They get us to say all sorts, and, like, I feel like they're just setting me up for, like... Setting you up for disappointment so they can laugh at you. Yeah, but then we try to get them to say Scottish stuff and they can't really say it, so... So you get to laugh back at them. Exactly. That is so funny. Um, another thing that I wanted to ask you about is... I know that you... After a match, as much as you can, you will always change into like your your own fits. So as soon as you can, you can get out and get out of like your kit. So what's your go to? Let's say you're going for a chilled coffee in a nice little quirky, quirky place. What's your go to fit? Oh, that's a good one. Do you know what? I feel like style is a big thing. Like I love like clothes, trainers. Um. If I was going, like, out for a brunch, I'd probably wear, like, some cargoes and either, like, a baggy tee or, like, mm. a jumper or a zip-up and stuff. Um, and probably, like, everyone slags me for wearing my chunky trainers. But I feel like they just go with cargoes, you know? Yeah. Or I do love a, a matching tracksuit. Yeah, oh, I love tracksuit. Tracksuit, like, everyday tracksuit. Oh, and I can't forget the cap. Like, everyone's always like, do you ever not have a cap on? Yeah, tonight. But... <laughs> Like, I just love caps. I feel like sunny with a cap, cold with a cap, bad hair day with a cap. Like, it's just, just it, it, they've always got you a hat. It's just always got you. No, I'm wearing a hat. Who is the best, apart from, I know you can't, you're going to be like, it's me, but you can't say yourself. Doesn't make it interesting. Don't Who's the best, best dressed top three in the team? Oh, this is hard because we don't really see much of like outfits. It should mm -hmm. be those, but. I've actually got to say Harley's up there, Harley. Yeah. 
She's got a good style, like, I like it. Um, Hayley Nolan's got a good style. It's quite, like, retro and, like, like nice vibe. And Anna. Anna's got such a nice style. Like, I'm always asking to borrow her clothes. Like, because she's my housemate, I'm always like, oh, that looks nice. And she's like, you want to wear it, don't you? And I'm like, yeah. So I can always count on Anna to, like, hook me up with some outfits. So if you had to take one person's wardrobe from your team, would it be Anna's? Yeah, probably, because I just live with her. It's easy, isn't it? <laughs> Literally, just be like, I'll take that. I'll no, take that. I'll like, take that. Just taking it. What does an ideal rest day look like for you? So, no football. Uh, you haven't got any football to watch. You haven't got any any uh, recovery to do. you just got a day off. What's it look like? Probably just, like, a nice chilled morning and then probably definitely going for a brunch. Um, yeah. and, and stuff, like, I love trying new brunch places. Um, yeah. I think that's something I love to do in my days off and just get out and about for a bit but not too much and then just come home and probably just chill like um, we have like two clubhouses in and around the training ground so we all just kind of hang together and it's just nice, nice. we either just watch TV or like play card games and stuff so it is nice that we've got that quite close bond and stuff yeah who's winning the card games um, I'd say like she's up there. She's always kind of winning, and then Carly, but Carly cheats. She's always. <laughs> James. Someone's just asked a, asked a question. That's a good point. If you've got any questions for Jamie, uh, throw them in the chat, and I'll try and ask them. Uh, which of your Hibs teammates do you miss the most? Oh, that's tough. Like I genuinely miss them all so much. Like I, we were all so close. Um, but probably like. Amy Muir, Siobhan Hunter, Shannon, Leah and all that, like we were all really cool. Um so yeah, it was a it was a good team and I was actually so sad about leaving but yeah. was supportive about me moving over here because they knew that was something I wanted to do. But <coughs> we all keep in touch anyway and like anytime I'm home we always link up and stuff, so it's nice. That's wicked. And uh last last one from me and if I see any in the in the chat I'll I'll ask them. But We've got a lot of young players who always want advice from the people that they look up to and who are doing well, like yourself. So what advice would you give to aspiring young footballers? I would probably say that, like, no dream is too big or small. And I think if you want something, just work for it and don't let anyone um, put you down. You're going mm. to see facts and stuff like we all do, but it's how you overcome them and... To be fair, like, nothing good comes easy, so it's just about working hard and, like, if you believe it in it and yourself, like, you can make it happen. That's that's class. I love that. There was one question that I've seen which is floating about on the internet. Doors or wheels? Nah, this gives me head loss because I'm, like, one minute I'm, like, doors. Because, like, you think of all the buildings and, like, yeah. like wardrobe doors. Like, would you include that? Like, a door is a wardrobe? Oh, oh. And like cupboard doors, everything, but then wheels, like Ooh. there's bare wheels everywhere. And like even in drawers, there's wheels. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about wardrobe doors. Exactly. So I'm kind of caught, like, but I think I'm going to go wheels. So no one judge me, please. Yeah. And the Women's Champions League have asked, who are you cheering on in the UEFA Women's Champions League quarterfinal? Oh, um, well, can I just say who I want to win it? Yeah, that works too. I like Barca. You like Barca? How come? I just think, like, the way they play is just sick. Like, little tiki tacky and it's just so good to watch. And I feel like they're just such a good team and stuff. Wicked. Jamie, I am so, so happy that you joined me tonight. Honestly, it's been an, an absolute laugh. It's always a good vibe with you. Thank you so much for, for jumping on. Um, I hope we'd soon find out if it is doors or wheels and what is there more of in the world. You know what, but, when find out, let me know. Yeah, I will do. But for anyone who doesn't already, please make sure you're following Jamie. Her at is literally there, I think. It should be because it's there for me. Um, and Jamie, have a lovely rest of your evening and good luck for the match on the weekend as well. Thanks, Nance. It was good to catch up with you and be on. Thanks. Wicked. See you later. See you Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.